Hello, my name is Michael Rourke, and I'm from Software Product Development here at SEL. It's my pleasure today to spend just a few minutes with you giving you a brief introduction to our new SEL Grid Configurator software. So let's jump right in. Um, as you'll see on the screen, I've, I've already brought Grid Configurator up onto my screen, and I'll just kind of start walking around the user interface here. Anytime you see a rocker bar such as this, it's just a selector. I can just click it. Here you can see I'm changing between dark theme and light theme. Over here on the left-hand side, you'll see the System Explorer. This navigator, when it's visible, will always be on the left-hand side of your screen. Anytime in Grid Configurator that you see an encircled arrow icon such as this, if you select it, it will either completely hide that navigator or at least minimize it in your view. So let's start with the System Explorer and just look at a few of its major features. This is where you'll be able to organize and see and manage all of the devices in your system. It works a lot like uh, a file explorer uh, in your desktop operating system. I can create folders and subfolders and then in expand and collapse my view on the screen as you can see here. If I need to create a new folder at the very top level, I'm going to use this icon uh, right here at the top of the System Explorer. I select it, and I just give it a name. And you'll see that it appears uh, directly at the bottom of my, my System Explorer. Anytime you see a three ellipse icon, either vertically like this one or horizontally here, that's your context set, your context menu for the entire application. There's not a menu system across the top of the application like older Windows applications. So in this case, if I want to create a subfolder to the folder I just created, I'll use the context menu right here, select Add Folder, and then give that one a name. And then when I expand it, you'll see there's my new folder. So it's very easy uh, to create and adjust and, and uh, organize all of the folders just the way that, the way that you like. In, you can see in, in this subfolder right here, I've created a device already that's on the screen called Unit 1. If I want to create another device in that same folder, again, I use my context menu using the ellipses icon. And this time, I select Add Device. I select the device type for the project I'm creating. I give it a name. If, I, if the part number for the device, if you know it already, uh, you can enter it directly here. If you don't know the part number for your device yet, just use the default and you can always change it later. Select OK. And now you'll see that new device has, uh, has also been created. Sometimes. Uh, you'll create a device and then you need to move it later or create a copy of it. Well, again, it's very, very simple. If I select that new device that I just created, Unit 3, select the ellipses icon, and select Cut, then I go to the folder, the target folder, where I want to move that device to, select the ellipses icon, and select Paste. You'll see now that that device is moved to that new target folder. But again, very similar to how you use file management uh, software on your desktop. That's how the System Explorer works. So it's going to be really, really easy to get used to those, to those functions. Now that let's look at uh, an actual device project that I already started. This one is for an SEL 400G relay, and I've named the project Unit 1. Um, I'm just going to collapse my System Explorer just for, for ease of viewing. And now you can see I've got a new, a new menu system or a new uh, Explorer down the left-hand side. This is your device, your device uh, explorer, and each one of these tabs represents a different view of the information about this SEL device. I'm just going to start with the device overview, which is what I'm on right here. Uh, think of this as the home page for your SEL device. It's not an editing space. It's more of just gives you an idea of how, how this device is, is presently configured, starting with what protection elements are enabled, some information about the front panel LEDs and push buttons, as well as some information about the cell logic and wiring for physical output contacts. The next view down is called protection elements. Uh, in this view, again, you could see all of the available protection functions in this device. 
And you can easily change the, one, the ones that are enabled just by using the selector in, in, this, uh, in this navigator. Again, I can collapse it when I'm done to get more viewing space. And now all I need to do is select the particular protection function I'm interested in in order to see all of the settings for that particular protection function. And then if I need to change a value, I can just select in the value field and select my new settings value for that setting. And you can see when I change setting values, I get an icon that lets me know exactly which settings have changed. The next view down is the settings grid. And if you've ever used Accelerator Quick Set in the past, this view is gonna be very familiar to you because here in settings grid, you could see all the settings for the entire device and quickly expand this tree and then select into just the functions that you wanna look at for the relay. And in this top bar, it keeps track of all of the filters that you've enabled for this view. The next couple of views are related to communications. This first one is called the connections view. This is where you put in all the information of how you need SEL Grid Configurator to connect to your SEL device, either over an ethernet network, a modem, or serial communications. The security view is where you put in all, of, if, you, if you're using uh, hardened passwords, it's where you put in all the device passwords. The next one down is called the front panel view. This is specific to the SEL 400 series products where you can uh, initiate and install uh, custom base screens onto the front panel of your 400 series device. If you're using those, the, the front panel view is where you'll configure all the settings for those base screens. The part number view, uh, like I mentioned before, if you start with a default part number for your SEL device and you ever need to change it because the, the relay that you actually received has a different part number, this is the view where you can, you can go in and change that. And the reports view is where you'll be able to see when you're connected to the device where you can download and analyze all of the uh, event reports and SOE from the device. A couple of other items that I want to hit on really quickly. If I need, if I already have a, a physical connection or an ethernet connection to that device and I want to connect to it, I'll just use this button right up here, the connect button. It takes just a couple of seconds for the software to initiate that connection to the device and you'll see I get a toast message down here that it's connected. And I'll point out that now the terminal in uh, different than Accelerator Quickset, the terminal for grid configurators right down here at the bottom, I just select it and then I can enter a command and I'll just do another ID command. So you can see I can enter commands for that device right there. One of the really nice things about Grid Configurator is I can connect to multiple devices all at the same time and have terminal sessions for each one of those devices. I'm going to disconnect right now and show you one last thing before we're done for this video. I want to show you how uh, a really powerful feature for comparing settings between two devices. If I start with this unit one that I've been working with and select the ellipses icon and select compare to, now it lets me see all the different devices that I can compare. I'm going to compare the settings in unit one to the settings in unit three and select confirm. And you'll see a new view, a new tab comes up that shows me all of the differences between those in settings between those two devices. I can filter that for differences only and very quickly identify any changes I need to make based on differences between two different devices. So that's some of the main features uh, in Grid Configurator. I know that was a brief introduction, but be watching for other how-to and tutorial videos on, on Grid Configurator on selink.com. And thank you very much for your time.